Pencils, notebooks, and a bulletproof backpack. Two enterprising dads pushing the ultimate school safety tool. They started a crusade after the Columbine massacre back in 1999. And now with classes just around the corner, they've got something that could save your kid's life. Michael Polanzi and Joe Curran are partners in MJ Safety Solutions. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on. I got a lot thank of emails from parents, from kids. A high school student here said, I'm a high school student and thought maybe you'd appreciate a student's opinion. I don't feel that a bulletproof backpack is necessary. Um, another emailer said, unless my kid is going to school in a rock, then I don't think I would need it either. Do we really need to be sending our kids with bulletproof backpacks? I'm going to start with you, Michael, to school. Well, in, after the Columbine shooting, as you mentioned earlier, we researched all school shootings uh, over the years and found that there were quite a few. Apparently, the situation is where there are unfortunate school shootings happening these days. And uh, myself and Joe started looking around at if there were any products out there to protect the children in a school environment at all ages. Um, and we found there really wasn't anything out there designed for that purpose. So we started looking at different materials, different products, and three years later, we came up with the My Child's Pack. Okay, so now our viewers want to know how it works and if it's not only bulletproof, but it's knife proof. Um, Lori in San Diego writes, okay, a bulletproof backpack. If I had no other choice than to send my kids to a public school where I thought they would uh, be shot, sure I would, but are they knife proof and how heavy are they and how many kids are now going to shoot at each other to test them? That's a good point. Joe? Well, the way it works is we have a ballistic panel that's been tested to a it's uh, NIJ, National Institute of Justice, rated level two, which is a little bit higher than a lot of the police vests. It's a 20-ounce panel, weighs the same as a bottle of water. It gets inside a backpack. We have two examples. They're sewn in, so you don't, you can't see that they're in. They're inside the back. There's, there's no label saying that it's a bullet-resistant backpack. So the kids don't know that it's in there. If your child has to know, they, they can be told but it's a very uh, nondescript bag. It's just a full-size backpack that has the panel inside it. Mm -hmm. My, it, it as far, sorry, sorry, as, far as knife proof, uh, we've had it tested at a laboratory to give us the bulletproof rating, and we've done extensive testing ourselves as far as the knife, and it is, from what we've tested, knife proof, but we have not had it tested at a laboratory yet, so okay. we can't claim knife-proof level. You know, Michael, that viewer did in, uh, raise an interesting point, that if kids are going to go home and their parents have guns in their homes and they're thinking, I've got a bulletproof backpack, let's test it out. And that would probably be a concern if I were a parent, that maybe my child would be somehow tempted to do such a thing. Well, I think that goes to educating the child that you shouldn't touch a gun in the first place. Right. Uh, I don't see that situation happening where they would start testing the bulletproof backpacks. Uh, to do that, they would have to have access to firearms, mm -hmm. and hopefully they do not. All right. Well, thank you very much um, for coming on, both of you, Joe Curran and uh, Michael Polanzi. Uh, good luck to you both. Thank and you very much. And these are $175, correct? I just want to get the right. price out yep. there. Okay. Yes, that's yep. right. All right. Thank you so much. Day five in Utah. As